Okay, now let's look at one of the big new features everyone's talking about, these new electronic drummers and the drum machine designer. So we choose a drummer track, boom, create, and there's the drummer track, select the second bit of playing, I've got a cycle range around it. Okay, uh, it defaults to the usual default drummer, Kyle, but now we've got these new electronic drummers and they play this new drum machine designer, which some people are calling an instrument. Okay, it's not, but we'll look at that in a second. Um, new electronic drummers. Okay, in alternative, there are two of these new electronic drummers, Maya and Duncan. And then there is a complete category called electronic, a new category with five electronic drummers in. And then a new hip hop category with three electronic drummers in. Each of these electronic drummers plays this new drum machine designer and each electronic drummer has two default kits but like with the acoustic drummers they can play any kit you like so let's start with these two alternative drummers Maya plays 80s electronic drums sort of Simmons DMX Lynn crossover uh, and her two default kits are neon and video star okay and then we've got Duncan. And Duncan is a kind of more contemporary electronic drummer. He's got two kits by default, Silver Lake and Analog Circuits. Okay, that's the two alternative electronic drummers. And then there are the hip hop drummers. Des. He's got two default kits, Trap Door. and Atlanta okay then we got Anton and um, he's got two default kits Beat Machine and Snapback Okay, and finally Maurice, and Maurice um, plays kind of um, boom bap, it says here, drum beats out of sample breaks from classic funk and soul vinyl records. Here we go, he's got two default kits, Crate Digger, and Boom Bap. Okay, so that's your three hip-hop drummers. And then finally, we've got these five electronic drummers. Okay, and these are club and dubstep -y stuff. Okay, so Magnus. Uh, thunderous electro house beats to, to complement anthemic synth leads and bass drops. He's got two default kits, Big Room. And Radiant. Okay, and then Leia, who it says does um, softly evolving tech house beats. She's got two kits, Deep Tech. And Futura. Okay, then we've got Jasper. And uh, Jasper, it says, is uh, inspired by underground sounds from London. Um, Dubstepy, whatever. Two kits by default. Pile driver and drop kick. Okay, then we got Ronnie, who is also from London, and um, again Dubstepy stuff. He's got two kits. Default kit, Seismic. And Depth Charge. Okay, then finally we've got Julian. And Julian is sort of like, you know, club stuff. Um, with a mix of modern and vintage sounds. Uh, after Party Kit. These are his two default kits, After Party. 
and Ibiza. Okay, now obviously, every one of these electronic drummers has a whole bunch of preset patterns and you can edit and tweak the patterns to your heart's content. Um, the editor looks slightly different, but it's exactly the same principle. You've got your drum layers, your kick, snare and clap layer, any combination of those, different patterns, and then adjust for simple, complex, loud, soft. Then you've got your high-end layer, hats, cymbal, shaker, any combination of those, different patterns, adjust, and your percussion layer. Now, the per percussion layer is different for different drummers. Julian happens to have this one percussion layer, different patterns, adjust it. But, for example, Ronnie... He's got three different percussion choices in his percussion layer. Horns, effect sounds, and claves. Again, choose the different preset patterns, adjust loudness, softness, complexity, etc. Blah, blah, blah. Okay. Um, other than that, we've got the fills, we've got the swing, but there's the details are different to the acoustic drummers. This is very cool. We've got this complexity range restrictor here. Each drum can have its complexity range restricted and that's very very clever very clever because for example with the kick drum here okay i could restrict the kick drum complexity look when i move the complexity from left to right you see the little dots in the middle of the complexity sliders moving okay, that's the general complexity for the pattern now i could restrict the complexity of the kick from zero to fifty percent and that means if i push the pattern to full complexity the hats, which are not restricted here, they go all the way to absolute top complexity. They will become very complex, but the kick will not go above 50% complexity, etc. And I could do it the other way around. I could restrict the, kit the kick drum complexity from 50% to 100%. So if I push the beat, the pattern, to this very, very simple, the kick will never go below 50% complexity, or 70%, or 75%, or 85% complexity. And um, you can restrict the top end, bottom end of the complexity, move it around, etc. Very, very clever, that. Very, very clever indeed. It gives you a huge amount of additional ways to vary the beats. And then you've got this phrase variation here, which kind of does what it says on the tin. It adds in more phrase variations across the pattern. And humanize, that just kind of makes some of the um, notes sort of off the beat fractionally you know so they're more human feeling and auto half time does what it says on the tin it half times the beat tick it and it auto half times okay so that's all these electronic drummers and obviously you can um, tweak and edit these patterns to your heart's content